Hey. Hello. Yeah, today I just want to share a few a few things I learned on my journey into cybersecurity management with you. You know, a few of the those advices you've probably heard before, and I've heard a lot of them as well. Um, that I can tell you right now that they are not true. And I'll start with the first one. Do you need the computer science or a cybersecurity degree to get into cybersecurity management? I'm telling you today, the answer is no, you don't. Yes, I have a I have three degrees in IT, but that is not a factor for me. My wife, I've, I've told that story before, she has a biochemistry background. She's a cybersecurity management professional. I've helped a, a, a other people that have no cybersecurity that have no cybersecurity or IT background that are doing great and they are established professionals in this space today, leveraging their existing skills. You can be a high school teacher, you can be a lawyer. You can be a procurement specialist. You can be a pretty much anything because you know what? Information security exists in our everyday job responsibility today. So no matter what you do, you've probably touched on information security one way or another. Just about how can you show it to the recruiter or to the hiring manager in a way that they will relate to it and you can explain what you've done to them. The second um, mistake or the second myth I heard on my journey was you need the biggest and the brightest um, cybersecurity certification to get in the space. And the question is, you need experience to become certified. You need certification to prove your experience, the, the chicken or the egg. But I'm telling you now that you don't. You do need some certifications. You do need to show continuous um, continuous improvement, continuous learning. That is the, the nature of the space we're in. But you do not need the biggest and the brightest one to get you going, to get you started. The other one I heard was that it will take you years to learn what it takes to be a cybersecurity management professional or a cybersecurity professional for that matter. And I'll tell you, it is not true. It took me three months from realization to actually establishing myself in the space. You can do it too, even in less time with the right support. And of course, ad work is important. The other thing I've heard is you need to go start all over again. You need to start from scratch. You need to start from entry level because you don't have any experience that you can bring on board. Oh, you need to you need to take the entry level certifications, A plus and the likes. And I'll tell you, are those certifications useful or are those trainings useful to get you to understand the network? I'll say yes. But do you actually need them to get into cybersecurity? And the big answer is no, you don't. Because cybersecurity, or let me say information security, is bigger than net, the networks and the likes we're talking about. So cybersecurity is a subset of information security, which is a bigger, bigger um, version of it, which is like the securing information in any format, in any shape or form, be it physical, logical, and what have you. So information security is bigger than just you learning about networks and learning about hardware. Yes, it's a big part of it. But there's so much more to it than that. So you do not need those certifications. Yeah, someone did tell me that. Go get A+. plus. said, I've been in IT for how many years? I never took A+, plus because I never needed it, and I wouldn't need it at this point. So even if you've not been in IT and you're just trying to get into cybersecurity, you do not need those entry-level certifications to get in. If you want to learn more and you want to know how you can get into information security management, using your existing experience reach out to me through the uh, the link in the comment section and we can work together thank you